Welcome, fellow One Piece fans. In this video, we are diving deep into the mysteries of Elbaf and exploring why it holds the key to uncovering the secrets of King's Haki. King's Haki, the pinnacle of Haki abilities, has intrigued us since its introduction in the story, but its true potential and origins remain shrouded in mystery. Today, we present a compelling theory that points to Elbaf as the arc where King's Haki will take the center stage. But before we begin, please be sure to subscribe to our channel, as it does encourage us to make more videos like this. Let us begin. Elbaf the legendary land of giants has recently been hinted as the next destination of the Straw Hat crew. With its rich lore, giant warriors and ties to the One Piece, it presents the perfect backdrop to explore the depths of King's Haki. I believe there is substantial evidence in the story to support this. In order for us to paint the bigger picture, we have to look at all the post-timeskip arcs, as each arc has been used by Oda to highlight a very specific concept. Fishman Island was used to showcase the strength of the Straw Hats, all the while reintroducing the ancient weapons to the story. Punk Hazard, and Drisrosa in my humble opinion were used to reintroduce the concept of Haki in full swing. Luffy vs. Doffy was a memorable battle, with all forms of Haki in full display. Drisrosa was notably used by Oda to introduce the concept of Devil Fruit Awakening. Then we got to Zoo, where we got introduced to a specific race and a load Ponglyph, after which was Whole Cake Island, where the concept of Awakening was in full display. That said, the three main features on display in this arc were the concept of special paramecia, advanced observation hacky, and advanced armament hacky. Then we got to Wano, the iconic land of the samurai, where the straw hats were pinned against their greatest foe. The concept of advanced armament hacky and advanced conqueror's hacky took the center stage as the mastery of these two abilities, in conjunction with his devil fruit awakening and of course plot armor, enabled Luffy to defeat Kaido. Even though Kaido and Big Mom have been shown to be two of the strongest characters in the series, it is clear at this point in the series that there are levels to strength beyond that of the Yonko. Shanks highlighted this well, as he was able to defeat a fresh Eustace Captain Kid in a single attack. This was followed up by the reveal of Imu and the Gorosai's Devil Fruits. With this reveals, Oda showcased the powers of the final villains of the story, who must clearly be stronger than the Yonko. Now to the giants. Oda has gone to great lengths in the story to show us that the giant nation of Elbaf is without the shadow of a doubt, the strongest nation. But the irony of it all is that Oda has really not depicted the giants as being that strong. John the Giant was one-shotted by Whitebeard. Gear second Luffy easily knocked out Hadridin and a kid Big Mom casually took down Waterfall Beard. Granted, he was old, and Big Mom is a special case. That said, based on the evidence, it is safe to assume that the giants are stronger than normal humans, but are average against elite fighters at best. But is that really the case? Well I do not think that is, and I believe there is enough evidence in the story to support this. If the giants were that weak, well Big Mom, one of the strongest characters in the story would not have gone through such lengths to get access to the giant's army. So I think Oda is here making a clear distinction between the army of Elbaf and the pirates of Elbaf. So Bragi, Dori or even Oimo and Kashi could be members of the giant pirates, but not members of the Elbaf army. You see, the issue with Elbaf, which we will definitely talk about in another video, has to do with the monarchy that rules Elbaf. There is enough evidence in the story to support this. First and foremost, during the Dressrosa arc, Hadridin claimed that if he acquired the fire fruit, he would become the king of Elbaf. Why would he want to become king? The answer would be simple. The proud warriors of Elbaf are led only by the strongest warrior, who is also the chieftain. We already know that Oda's inspiration for the warriors of Elbaf were the Vikings in Norse mythology. This was hinted at by Frankie as he claimed that once, long, long ago, an endless war raged on an island. People died, and the island was destroyed by a rain of bullets and left in ruins. However, the people kept coming back to rebuild the nation near a giant tree, the only one that remained intact, and that was Adam. Therefore, if Hadridin acquired the fire fruit, the enormous boost in strength he would have had might have enabled him to be confident enough to challenge the king of Elbaf to a duel, which he believed he could win. We also know that despite the deep hatred that the giants had for Big Mom, Prince Loki did not mind marrying Lola which meant allying the nation to Big Mom. This irresponsible decision might have led some of the giants to believe that. The current chieftain is not a wise ruler. Let us digress. Throughout the series we've witnessed scattered instances where King's Haki has played a significant role. 
Shanks, from Luffy's unconquerable spirit to the awe-inspiring power of Whitebeard and Shanks. King's Haki has constantly been associated with legendary figures and those who command the respect of others. With Elbaf being the next destination of the Straw Hats, it is safe to assume that this would inadvertently be the arc where the highest forms of advanced Haki will take the center stage. Just imagine an army of giants who possess advanced observation and armament hacky. This could be the reason why Elbaf has always had the strongest army. After all, the island is renowned for its proud giants and their admiration for strength. This would therefore be the island where Luffy and Zoro learn about the full context of King's Haki, and the same arc where Usopp awakens King's Haki as well as develops advanced observation hacky. It may come as no surprise that the giants value strength above any other thing. Kaido clearly stated that the reason why Roger was able to conquer the Grand Line was because of Haki. With this, it can be assumed that Haki is the pinnacle of strength. This statement can therefore give us a better understanding as to why Big Mom wanted to have access to the military might of the giants. Joy Boy is believed to have been a giant and must have possessed King's Haki. If Joy Boy turns out to be the first king of the giants, then that therefore means that the prerequisite for anyone to become king of Elbaf might turn out to be King's Haki. Elbaf is an arc that is central to the character development of Usopp, and this arc coincidentally has ties to Skypiea. Iconic characters such as Bragi, Dori, Oimo, Kashi, Mountain Beard, Jadwar Sol, Hadrudin and possibly even Scopper Gabin could make their return in this arc. As we eagerly await our journey to Elbaf, we can imagine the awe-inspiring battles, emotional revelations, and intense hacky clashes that will undoubtedly shape this saga. Elbaf may hold the key to unlocking the true power of King's Haki, unleashing unforgettable moments that will forever shape the future of One Piece. So, brace yourselves for the adventure of a lifetime. Join us as we eagerly await the day when giants clash and Usopp awakens conquerors Haki, where the Straw Hats finally free the giants and usher the dawn of the One Piece world. So please be sure to subscribe, like and share this video. It's been a pleasure, see you guys later.